Hey guys, it's Belinda. In this video, I'll show you how to control the angle of the north arrow on your Revit sheets and your title blocks. I'll show you a couple of ways to do this and then you decide whatever works best for you. Let's jump into it. So the first thing we're going to do is create a generic annotations family with the type parameter. Let's go to new families, annotations and generic annotations. I'm going to create a pretty large north arrow just so it's visible for this tutorial, but you can scale it down for your projects. The radius of the circle is going to be one inch. I'm going to draw a reference line starting at the intersection of the X and the Y axis. I'm going to draw this at an angle. I'll pull it off the origin point for now, but I want to pin it to the intersection of those two axes. The way to do this is to select the align tool and then the X axis and the origin point and lock it then the Y axis and the origin point and lock it again. I'll then create an angle dimension between the Y axis and our new reference plane and create a type parameter from this angle. I'll name this parameter angle and it's going to be under the dimensions group parameter. Now I want to add some detail to this north arrow. So I'll create a line in the vertical dimension. That'll be two and a half inches long and just move it to the center. And then I'll rotate and copy this 90 degrees so that it aligns with the horizontal axis. The next thing I want to do is create a fill region which points to the north direction. I'll just draw a simple rectangle, center it in our circle and just clean up the top part of this rectangle. This is a pretty simple north arrow but you can modify it however you'd like. Let's go to our family types and change the angle from 45 to zero. You can see that is rotated to the vertical position. What we need to do now is pin all the detail items like the two lines, the circle and the fill region to this reference plane so that it rotates with it. I'll do this by selecting the three items, going to edit work plane and selecting the reference plane that we drew. Now, when we go to change the angle parameter from say zero to 45, everything moves with it. And when we change it to 90, it moves again. I want to add a text box that points to the north direction, but the only way to pin it to our reference plane is for it to be another generic annotation family. So let's create a new family. It's just going to say N for north, and I'm going to increase the font size to a quarter inch. I'm going to load it into my north arrow family and change the angle parameter back to zero. Now let's use the align tool again to select the top of the reference line and the horizontal axis of the N and lock it. Then let's select the top of the reference line again and lock it to the vertical reference line of the north text box. Now when we change the angle parameter to 45, the north text box moves with it. And even when we change it to 90 degrees. What we're going to do now is load it into a sample architecture project just to see how it works and I'll bring it into the site plan sheet. Now, since this is a type parameter, the way to change the angle is to go to edit type and change the angle from zero to 90 degrees. And you can see that the text box and the indicator have moved. If you change the angle to 300, it, they moved again. I'm gonna copy this arrow to another sheet, say plans, and I'll just paste it in place. And you can see the angle has stayed the same and that's because it's a type parameter and not an instance parameter. So all instances of this north arrow will have the same angle. So let's see what angle this project is actually rotated to. I'm going to go to the site plan visibility graphics and open up the site categories. I'll check the project base point to make it visible. When you click on this project base point, it gives you an angle to true north, which means the angle to which it's rotated, which is 323 degrees. So let's apply that angle to our north arrow as well. Now, the issue is that this angle makes sense on the plans sheet because the views are rotated, but it doesn't make sense on the side plan sheet. In this case, the north arrow should be pointing straight up. It should be zero degrees and not 323 degrees. There are two ways to do this. We can duplicate the family or we can just change the type parameter to an instance parameter. And that takes us to the second part of this tutorial. I'm going to select our angle type parameter and change it to an instance parameter. I'm going to load this new arrow back into our project, both on the plans sheet as well as the site plan. 
So since this is an instance parameter, you can change the angle under the properties panel and you don't have to go to edit type. We're going to keep the angle as zero on the site plan, but on the plan sheet, we're going to change the angle to 323 degrees. So there's a lot of flexibility using an instance parameter. You can change the angle to whatever you want, and it's not going to affect any other instance of this family. And that's both a good and a bad thing because people can change it on different sheets and it's hard to keep track of it. And that takes us to the third part of this tutorial, which is setting our angle parameter with a Dynamo script. What our Dynamo script is going to do is extract the angle to true north value from a project base point and assign it to our instance parameter in the north arrow family. Let's open up a new Dynamo script. The first thing I'll do is create a select model elements node and change it from automatic to manual. And I'll select the project base point. Then I want to extract the angle to true north value. I'll do that by creating a code block with a string value of angle to true north. And then I'll create an element dot get parameter value by name node. When you run it, you can see that the 323 value was extracted. Now let's create another select model elements node and select the north arrow this time. We'll use another code block to get the angle instance parameter that we created. Then we'll create another node called element.setParameter by name and put in our 323 value into that node. When you run it, you can see that the North Arrow family was rotated 323 degrees. And that's it. I'll provide a link to all the North Arrow families that I built in the description below uh, so that you can download them. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.